Best players in the world right now. Are we just talking batters here? It's actually a hard question. Yeah. Players in general, you're right. It's so tough. It is, isn't it? That's, that's a... It's actually a really bloody hard question. Um... All right, my top five current players. Uh, I'm going to start with Virat Kohli, um, world-class player, all three formats of the game. Scored a truckload of runs and, uh, yeah, phenomenal player. Sort of my all-format player is going to be Virat Kohli. Uh, like, I think test, one day is, I think, encapula, encapula, encap encapsulates. encapsulates encapsulates that, that whole play. Yeah, Steve Smith. Um, Steve Smith. Um, Steve Smith. Steve Smith. There's probably no argument that he's the best test batter um, of all time, but definitely probably in Australia's history in terms of apart from the Don. Obviously he has a record that speaks for itself. Just because of what he did in Townsville and Cairns on horrific batting wickets, to have success up there um, in different conditions and he got 100 in Sri Lanka in completely different conditions and still just seems to find a way to be successful. His consistency over a long period of time, it stand, stands alone. White ball cricket, Babara's arm, he, he would be in, in probably my top three in all three formats, but you just feel like you can't get him out sometimes. No matter what you do, he's got an answer. He's, he's a great player. He's, he's an unbelievable player what he does at three. Uh, in T20 cricket, I think he averages 50. He's, he's just a, he's just so classy, so classical, hits the ball where it needs to go. and Someone who can just dominate a game and, and almost feels like he's got you on a string at, the, at, at all times. Baba, I think in all three formats of cricket for Pakistan, I think he's been absolutely exceptional. Probably Baba's arm. He's pretty good, like his all format play is, is pretty impressive, so. As someone who's been ultra consistent for a long period of time in, in all three formats is Bubba Azam. Classy, elegant, um, scores runs everywhere and. Just pretty good? Yeah, just pretty good. He's, he's good, no, he's good. <laughs> Joe Root, um, I think his summer over the last, num oh, his cricket over the last number of summers has been absolutely exceptional. Uh, we'll go with Joe Root. Uh, I think the way he's playing at the moment is sensational. He looks like every time I see the scorecard, he's, he's getting 100. So he's, uh, he's playing phenomenal at the moment. I would say Joss Butler uh, is an extremely exciting player to watch. T20 cricket, he opens the batting and can blast it everywhere. 50 over cricket, he tends to bat number, around number five or six. And he's so destructive, he's, he's so hard to bowl to. Um, but he's an absolute must watch. Johnny Bairstow, the success that he's had in the test arena over the last, last little while has been pretty awesome to watch. I think with the change of captain and coach, I was lucky enough to play with him in 2015 at Yorkshire and saw him firsthand how dangerous he can be and um, we've seen in the white ball formats, but I think more recently in the red ball has been pretty impressive. Pat Cummins, in terms of bowling. Um, I'll put Pat Cummins in the list. Yeah, Pat Cummins, um, quite clearly number one in my eyes. Um, obviously seen him for the last two years. The consistency he has um, with all, all three formats, to be fair. Um, He's, I think he has to be up there in the top five if you're looking at you know the, the three different scopes. I'll, I'll, I'll try and include a little bit of everything. Um, yeah, winning the World Cup with Australia. Um, leading the attack in our test team um, and yeah obviously captaining as well so yeah that's a nice little bonus. Um, the way he bowls, the pressure he builds, the wickets he takes, um, he's just sensational to go with some pretty handy lower order runs as well. Josh Hazelwood in my eyes is the best fast bowler in the world. I would have to go with Jasper Boomer purely for his execution under pressure um, new ball, he gets wickets, old ball, he gets wickets. He's someone who is exceptional over three formats of the game, which we're blessed in this country to have a, a pace bowling attack who, who is equally as good, but he's, he's a superstar. Big in swing, great Yorkers, great slower ball. He's, he's got the whole package. Uh, Rabada, um, 
yeah, the, his record speaks for itself. Uh, his strike rate um, is the best of all time. Uh, I think with people that have taken 250 test wickets, so um, yeah, it's quite a good reason why you'd be in this list. I'll put Kagiso Rabada from South Africa. I think he's, um, he's been a world-class bowler for a while now. Uh, he's always at you, he gets in the contests and he, uh, he really enjoys it out there. My number two would be Rashid Khan. I think that he's, we've, we've been lucky to see him for a long period of time in the Big Bash and um, what he does with a, with a craft that everyone said would struggle in T20 cricket, he, he's been unbelievable. He brings people through the gates who engages the fans and, and he's just brilliant. So he would be not my number two. All round, uh, I'm gonna go with like Ben Stokes. Ben Stokes. Ben Stokes. Ben Stokes. Yeah, and X Factor. Um, that's all I need to say about Stokes. He Pretty clear in my eyes uh, what he's been doing for the last 10 years um, with bat and ball um, and also captaining as well. So that's a nice bonus again. Feels like the responsibility of captain uh, hasn't hindered his performance at all. It's probably made it even better. Um, the freedom he plays with it seems pretty regularly gets a breakthrough for England and um, there's almost a barometer for him with energy in the field and um, just provides an amazing spark for that team. You know, someone that can contribute with a bat and the ball is very vital in a team. So I'm going to go with, with him in there as my all-round player. And then I'll put Jadeja, I think um, the last few years he's developed into one of the best all-rounders in the world and um, you know he's a quality player, he's, he's amazing in the field, um, he's the full package so those are my top five players at the moment. It's a bit of a controversial one but I think it's, it's more on what this guy can potentially do and what I've seen so far and that's Cameron Green. Yeah, Glenn Maxwell, yeah, you don't need to explain that. That. I'm actually <laughs> lucky enough to play with him over the last couple of series and watch him go about his work in Sri Lanka. He might might not be currently the best, the fifth best player in the world, but I think for what he what he brings to the team, his innings against New Zealand under pressure um, in that first ODI was so special, and um, his partnership with Alex Carey won us that game and. And plus he has the ability to bowl 140 and, and do an amazing job for us with the ball. Um, so I, th I think he's a pretty exciting package. You repaid the favour, Max. You're in. You're in. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're now in his as well. 